These two boxes I just loaded are for a backyard chicken hutch. It holds about three to four chickens. Now what in the world would I need a little backyard chicken hutch for? I have this thing right here. Well, it's not for me or this homestead. I just loaded it up to bring it over to Dance Partners because we're, we're getting chickens. chickens. We'll get to all the details on that in just a minute because right now we're in a hurry to go get the chickens. Are you excited to get the chickens? Yes. Yeah. Chickens, what do you think? Are they pretty? Yeah. You'll get to name them. These are naming chickens. <laughs> They're cute. Are they boys or girls? They're girls. Only the girls lay eggs. Because they do you think boy chickens lay eggs? No. What do you think of the birds? I think they're beautiful. They're what? beautiful. You like them, Saf? Yeah. Cool. I love their coloring. You like that blue sapphire look? Yes, absolutely. They're blue sapphire Plymouth something or another. He said they hatched right at the beginning of April. Mm -hmm. It's five months till they start laying. So they should start laying in August. Yeah, that's pretty nice turnaround. It's about a month away. How'd you ladies do on the drive? Not bad. It is the next day before we get back over to Dance Partners and set up the chickens. I wanted to give you a quick grass-fed homestead update. Last week, I put the sheep in here. It was so overgrown in here, we could barely see the sheep when they were in there, but they've picked it over really nicely. All they left are these thick tansy stems, which of course are not really palatable to them. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should get a scythe get the rest of that cut down. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know, hey, is the scythe a good idea? And then also, if you have a brand recommendation, that'd be helpful. The sheep are back out here. Hello, boys. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it is after the sheep go through. And for scale, this grass right here is taller than me by a good bit. I got some feed here for the new chickens. That should keep three birds fed for at least a week. And I'll give Dan's partner enough time to figure out her feed situation. I'm also gonna run over to the farm store and get her a waterer. Got the waterer. I also wound up getting her egg basket. A little feeder. They didn't have the little feed pans that I normally like to use. Hello. Hello, chickens. Are those nice chickens, Willow? Be nice to the chickens. So that whole board just split there. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that.
My camera battery died, so I am in iPhone mode now. This is the AV2N Chicken Tractor Air 30 model. That company reached out to me and asked me if we would make a video on it for them in exchange they would send it for free. And you had mentioned you wanted to get some chickens. I thought, hey, why not try this for your backyard? Yeah, it's the perfect size. We have a little backyard. We needed a little chicken tractor and um, this is not little. This was the size we were looking for. It's kind of little. How were your thoughts putting this together? Once you started and got the hang of it, it wasn't too bad. Making sure that the panels were turned in the right direction um, before assembling it is a really good idea. Obviously, we just built it, so we don't know how it's gonna work over time, but what do you like or dislike about it as of right now? One of the first things that I need to get and improve about it that I don't like is that these doors don't have any handles. I like the spring latch on these. This is cool. Yeah, but there's no way to really yeah, I can't open, like, open that easily. Something I don't like is this solid here, so the chickens will perch on here and the poop will catch, and it's just something you have to clean. Nest boxes too, we solid bottom. Again, we're gonna run into issues with having a clean rather than it having a hardware cloth bottom and having the droppings just fall through. The other thing that definitely will need some improvement is the wheels. The wheels that attach down here are very small and you have to lift the tractor up so far off the ground the chickens will escape in order to move it. What interested me about this chicken tractor was the quality of this roof. It's not ju just a piece of particle board but it's got whatever this is on the top. So when the water pours off this roof um, there's a chance it's going to collect in there and that'll rot out really fast so we're going to get some sort of caulking um, silicone or something else that'll seal up all of those holes. This is not for someone who's on acreage and you're gonna be moving this distances. This is not for heavy homestead use. It is for somebody like this in a suburban small backyard. You don't have a lot of room and you only have like three chickens. And the materials are very light. It would be pretty easy to move this still. It's pretty light. I will leave a link down in the video description if you wanna check it out. If you are somebody in that situation, small backyard, just three chickens, or you know someone who is and, and you wanna check it out, uh, the link is down below. When I was looking at their website, one thing that I did see is that they do some pretty cool looking rabbit hutches and backyard rabbit runs. Tell us about Haru. Haru is our pet bunny. He is not going to be eaten. He is a Holland Lop. We got him from a breeder locally. Oh. He likes to be held like a baby. Why did you want to get chickens all of a sudden? So I started a small garden which keeps growing recently um, and that sparked this idea that maybe I could get some chickens and grow this tiny little suburban backyard into an inspiration for people that I can't afford to buy property or I don't have the space or I'm renting. Um, we can make a lot of excuses why we don't do these things for ourselves and I just wanted this opportunity to do it for myself and show people that despite those excuses or those reasons, you might find ways around it. It's a rental, so it's not like you can have a bunch of garden space, right? You can't grow a lot of food, but you can grow some, so why not grow some, right? I think you'd be surprised with what you can do in a tiny backyard, even a rental that's mobile or easy to tear down, take away, that's not gonna ruin your yard. And I'm just starting that process. Here is the broccoli. What okay. issues have we had with our broccoli so far? Bugs are eating them. Yeah. All those holes that are markings of the bugs. What's behind our broccoli back there? Cucumber. Peppers. What's wrong with your peppers? Um, we don't know. Just not having a good day, I guess. No, that they're just getting worse. And then we have our kale. My, personally, my favorite. We have garlic and onions, cilantro, I don't know how to pronounce these because it's oregano, oregano, rosemary, rosemary, and then this one, parsley, parsley, thyme, thyme, I remember this, this yeah, thyme, some chives, right? Chives. And then what do we have down here? We got our basil, mint, mint, they're done. And then we got our, um, I'm looking for the peppers. 
That bird. Those are the living ones. Okay, what's this back here? You said it earlier. Basil. Basil. And then do you know what these are here? And these are... Uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. How tomatoes. many potatoes are in there? I think it's 15. Yeah. These garden boxes were built as a gift to me out of some spare lumber. Uh, some of the things used or the way they were constructed is not how I would have done it myself, but I'm making the best use of it for now. We hung the netting so we actually cover all the plants during the day. This way the birds don't eat them. I would like to continue to improve my garden. Um, we've got a lot of plants but they're very crowded. So my, I've been doing a lot of research into vertical gardening. Um, my plan is to get some more garden boxes planted. I don't know if we'll do it this summer. It might not be until next year. Um, but we'll create some beautiful arches in this backyard so that we can grow overhead because we don't have the space to grow or make big garden boxes on the ground. Um, we've got enough chickens, but I have contemplated the idea of raising meat rabbits. We'll see how that goes.